Hi, I'm Ed Scar, and I've been clearing out some video ideas that don't really warrant a full video. This time I want to show off my Perry Miniatures Gaunt's Ghosts models from 2002, and talk about how I'd run them in Modern 40k. Now unfortunately, Modern 40k is changing, and so this video won't be relevant for all that long. I have at least one of each of the ten sculpts from the 2002 set, in, in fact I have some duplicates. Here is Colonel Commissar Abraham Gaunt, Colonel Corbeck, Mad Larkin the Sniper, The Boy Milo, and Dr. Dorden. Those are the named characters. There are also some generics, four with las guns, three men and one lady, and one of these isn't painted yet, but don't worry about that, we'll sort that in a moment. The last generic model is the plasma gunner, and yes, the Gaunt's Ghosts do use plasma guns. Now, even though they did get rules at the time, that's all the way back in 3rd edition, so it's a little out of date. Thankfully, I have some fellow Tanith nerds making a Tanith fan codex, and so I can fit these old models in as a Gaunt's Ghosts infantry squad. The first model I need to swap out is this chap reloading, because I happen to have a duplicate of this sculpt with a comms pack. In current versions of 40k, characters are usually separate from infantry squads, and so Gaunt will be moved off to have the character keyword. Instead, I need a sergeant, but nobody else has the right weapons, and so I converted this one over using, actually, the last pistol that I cut off of Dorden. Corbeck may be a colonel, but the model just looks like any other last trooper, and so I can ignore that. Some versions of 40k allow guard infantry to have two special weapons, and so this would be fine, but I actually want to bring Larkin out for the sniper squad, so I'll swap him for the moment, and the unpainted one as well. The last change is to have a heavy weapon. None of these models have any provision for that, and so I will stretch the rules just a little bit to have the plastic brag from the 2021 set, and we can use Milo here as loader if needed. And so that's how I'd run the Perry Miniatures models in Modern 40k, if they weren't changing Modern 40k, but regardless, I'm Edscar, thanks for watching.